So, Q, there's been three fights that were announced this week. Okay. And I want to pick your brain because I'm excited for all three. One in particular. The second one, pretty excited. Okay. Third one, indifferent. Pick away, my friend. Pick away. So, I'm not really excited about all three okay. in the end. But yeah. let's talk about You're it. You're a liar. No one's surprised by that. So, I'll start with the, uh, I'll start with the uh, welterweight division. Okay. Donald Cowboy Cerrone. I did hear about Versus one. your Mike boy, Perry. Mike Perry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Come yeah, yeah, on. Yeah. That yeah. is a fight. That is a fight. That is is a fight that's okay? the fight that's the fight well let me stop short of that because <laughs> when i heard the rumor about sage northcutt okay and mike Perry, that was a good one that was a fight that was okay, good that was also a fight <laughs> but i mean anytime you're putting donald Cerrone in a fight against anyone i'm going to be super hyped to see it yes i like the role that they kind of have Cerrone in now yes. where you know he kind of just yeah middle of the pack it's gatekeeper status yeah when you need a headlining fight you just throw him in there against whoever's you know wants to fight him. yeah it's a great fight yeah so like that's... leon edwards is now skyrocketed yeah yeah, yeah maybe not skyrocketed yeah. But, but slightly moved higher yeah, slightly, the stock from a three to two win more than what it was before but mike perry i think it's gonna be a good fight yes and i think cerrone is gonna get it done okay cerrone is still cerrone that fight's not until november so we have some time to debate about this oh, okay but right now i'll tell you mike perry is going to work in that fight and putting cerrone to sleep cerrone does not like trash talk he doesn't yeah. And what does Mike Perry do better than anybody in that division aside Swear. from Colby? Swear. Yeah. So yeah. that that's a good one. But that's in November, so we don't okay. need to talk was about that. Was that the one that you were excited about? Or? That one, that was in my middle. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the one I'm excited for. What's that one? UFC 230 in New York. I think it's November 3rd, but I don't know. Google it. Okay. Bo Hashinya, who we've talked about enough on this show, as you white belts know, yeah. versus... Yeah. Soldier of God, Yoel Romero. Ooh. That is the fight in the middleweight division. I didn't know about that fight. Aside from Whitaker, yes. That's, that's a fight. This is, and oh this is exactly, like, literally, it's, all, it's almost is, like yeah. coming to fruition, what we yeah. were talking about. We did have a, right? We talked about how, like, we need to give him a, a step up in competition. Yes, yes. And this is, I mean, this is the this biggest jump big. yeah, this, this, big. this is a huge jump up in competition, but it's an amazing fight i still think that's probably a pretty even fight if i'm stepping back a little yep. bit whoa um damn that's just that's just a lot of fights it's a lot to take in and i don't even know how to analyze the fight what i will say is that yoel is getting older mm -hmm. at some point age will catch up to him mm -hmm. have, but you, have you seen yoel i have seen yoel and it hasn't caught up to him yeah god bless you i guy. wish i was yeah. cuban at yeah. this point but what I will say, too, is that Bohashinya hasn't really been tested the mm -hmm. level Yoel can test him. Mm -hmm. So I think on paper, when the betting lines do come out, Yoel should be at least a two-to-one favorite. Mm -hmm. um, but Bohashinya has a chance in that fight, and this is his chance to really catapult himself up to that title shot. And I know he trains at the UFC PI a lot now, too. Yeah. So he's going to put in that extra work the next few months to get himself ready for this fight. I think so. And thinking about this fight more, I just realized something. This fight is actually going to be a classic. Yeah. Both of these guys have outstanding chins. We saw Romero, I think, um, in his last fight against Whitaker. How many times did he get rock kicked in the head? You're right. No problem. How many You're times right. did Uriah Hall tag Paulo Borchini in her last fight? Good point. And Borchini just eats him and keeps coming forward yes. until he eventually takes your soul. Yes. That is an incredible matchup. I am hyped to see that, Raj. No, but you need to tell me who's winning because that's what the white belts want. I want to tell you <laughs> Um, no, I mean, just experience-wise, and I think that definitely is probably the biggest differentiator in this yeah. matchup. I'm going to ride with Soldier of God. Okay. okay but it's... It's an incredible match. You know I'm a betting guy, and I like underdogs. Oh. Because you make more money when you bet on the underdogs. Smart. Do you guys follow me here? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going all the way on Bohashinya. What are the odds, you think? I think he's going to come out as a plus 200 or better. Or better, okay. Yes, for, for me that's making yeah. money. I think at those odds, you probably, yeah, take the plunge. And I'm going, and I'm going, to, take, I'm going to take that and, and really throw it all in on him. Because you know? okay. this is his opportunity to show that he's ready for that When title. you say all in, you mean all... $20 That's it, just okay. 20 bucks. I don't have any more than that, you know? I don't have no more than that. Yeah. Last fight I want to talk about. Last fight. It's kind of sad because I've already prefaced it with, like, eh, I'm not very excited yeah. about it. Yeah. But it is a rematch. Both of them did hold the belt at one point in time. Okay, but come on, what is it? Weidman versus Rockhold. Same division as yeah. the other boys. I can see why you're not that excited about that fight because we've seen it before. Yes. It's kind of a rehash of that fight. Yes. I expect it to go the exact same way. Okay. okay? Because I think Romero, or sorry, 
Weidman. Rockhold. Rockhold. Yeah. Rockhold. Yeah. Rockhold is a better fighter than Weidman. Okay. We both we know that they're both great grapplers. Yes. But when it comes to the stand up, I think Rockhold separates himself from Weidman. Yep. And yeah, he's had to deal with a couple losses, so maybe his mental won't be there, and that gives Weidman an opportunity. Right. To get that W. Right. But who's the better fighter? Undoubtedly. Rockhold. Luke Sexy Rockhold. Okay, see, I disagree with you there as well. As that, oh. And I like that nickname. Oh, okay. But I, I think Weidman gets it done. So the fight is happening, again, UFC 230 in New York. True. Obviously, Weidman's backyard. Mm -hmm. Weidman wants that revenge. Weidman should, it was passed over for the title shot by Gastelum. So this win here on the same card as Bahashinia versus Soldier of God, he gets a dominant win, he's fighting for that title. Mm -hmm. So there's more implication, more on the line for him with there this. Is, is. If Rockwell loses, okay, well now he goes up to 205, which he's threatened to do a few times. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Rockwell wants to be a sexy model mm -hmm. for Ralph Lauren, or he wants to be a UFC it's champion. These days. Because I'm not seeing champion out of him in his yeah, last few fights. Yeah. So I'm siding with Rockhold. I'm uh, sorry, with damn with Weidman. Yeah. <laughs> Did that to myself there. Yeah. I'm siding with Weidman on that one. So I think we disagree on all the fights there. Yeah, which is great. We'll see who comes out on top. Yeah. Right? We got guess. time to debate. It's still early, so we got a few months more to uh, talk about it and get might my money mind. on it with yeah. each other. Yeah, I might change my mind. You I've might been, you I've might been on to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well let us know what you think anyways, White Belts, and uh, comment below. We'll let you know. Well, you know what we think, but we'll let you know if your thoughts are right or wrong. Yeah. And subscribe below. For sure. See you next time. Oops.